Welcome back, Fanatic Addicts, to another High Octane episode of the Fan and Fanatic Pep Rally. So, without further ado, let's get into the first segment, Inside the Mind of the Fanatic. Take it away, partner. All right. I, I, I think I know where this one came from, but uh, we're going to start here. So we have the search, Coach Carr, Michigan. What's so, going on there? So the interview that just dropped today was... Ta- was so a guy from Michigan, and he said, and he's, and one of our questions that we asked is, who is your, who is your favorite coach or mentor, and why? And the guy said, Coach Carr, and I, and I was, and I, and I wanted to look up who Coach Carr was because I couldn't exactly remember what it was. I think I made that search a few minutes after doing that interview, but I don't know. But, yes, Lloyd Henry Carr Jr. Yes, L- Mr. L- all right, next, all right, yeah, yeah. He was. A- Did you find out anything interesting, interesting about him besides the fact no, I, that he coached? Mr. I just Tate? wanted to. I, I just wanted to look up who he was, but so, okay. but he was the coach at Michigan for from I believe nineteen ninety five to two thousand seven. Correct. Wow, that's that was pretty a, good. That was totally a guess, but still. that was impressive. That was impressive. All right, next. Okay, next, next search, love. This one might be one of my favorites that you've ever done because it produced some pretty funny stuff. But uh, so, <laughs> and it's gonna, I guess, need some explanation. And here's the search: the mines, m i n e s, m i n e s, the mines fight song. What I'm is a going on? From gold and taking it, and a mining engineer. No, sir. Oh, I wish I. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I wish I had a barrel of rum and sugar, 3,000 pounds. The college bell to put it in, the club stirred around. I drink to all the good fellows. Sir, like all, like every honest fellow, I drink my whiskey clear. I'm a rambling wreck from Golden Tech and a hell of an engineer. Now, hell, interesting. Hell, the gang's all here. What the hell do we care now? Hell, hell. Careful now, this is a family show. M I N E S. What the hell do we care now? Okay. <laughs> probably okay. The f- There's a lot of questions here. Okay. Probably First funny. of all, what is that? The Colorado School of Mind. I don't know what you associate. I, like I was, it's for, like when I first heard the fart song, I was like, "There's no way that's correct." So I searched. So I looked it up, and sure okay. enough, that's a what real is fart it? Song. The Colorado School of Mines. Well, it's a okay. School. It's a real fight song from the Colorado School of Mines. Wow! Now, there's some listeners out there who are hopefully going to recognize that that is very close to somebody else's fight song. It's like word for word. Who's Tech? Georgia Tech. You got to be careful. People in other parts of the country, Georgia may Tech, whatever, think Tech is Virginia Tech or Texas Tech or Cal Tech or something. What? Um, how did Fun you like, so so yeah go ahead so actually there i think i like so there's so in addition to that fight song i believe arkansas and Wright state share a fight song and a, and a whole slew of teams share a fight song that's stand up and cheer but i can't exactly remember what i'm not going to name all of the fights the teams that is that how you up. came to this song were you looking for fight songs that were the same no i think i just I think I just randomly, randomly scroll like came across it one day. Like I was browsing YouTube, and I was I don't know. I think I was looking for. Yeah, you just randomly browsing YouTube and landed on the Colorado School of Mines fight song, which just so happens to be almost verbatim to the Georgia Tech fight song. Probably That's crazy. The weird, probably the funniest slash weirdest <clears throat> fight song lyrics of all time. Do you know what the song is based on? The melody. I I believe the song is called um, The Miner something. I don't know. No, the, well, no, the fight song itself is called The Mining Engineer. I, I knew that. I knew that. Dates like, back to 1879, but it's based on a melody called The Son of a, a Gambolier or Gambolier. Gambolier, I don't know. We're trying to get French here and we don't even know. Aye. And by the way, it's pronounced, Le, it's pronounced Mario Lemieux. Not Lemux, uh, Lemieux, and it should <clears throat> go wah, wah, not Roy, wah. And, right, yes. We also, I, I, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to swallow some pride too, and also correct, do a little correction of last week, where you were right that Stanford is in Stanford and not Palo Alto, so props to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, there you go, Tess, dude. All right, sit down, stay humble. There we go. <clears throat> 
All right, hey, so that's a good hey, one. Hey, 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 watch your pal. Watch. Hey, no, 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 no. Sit down. Be humble. Oh, be humble. I got corrected again. How dare you? How dare oh. you? How dare you? Uh, I guess you got to be humble to stay humble. You're, you're like okay. Kendrick Lamar isn't a listener because I'm pretty sure if you heard that he would probably sue your sue sue, sue the biscuits off of you. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't actually repeat the lyrics, so there's no violation there. Okay. All right. Let's get to our third one. You ready? Mm-hmm. Garrett Hilbert. So I saw a YouTube short the other day from Dude Perfect, and it was like this like really like sketchy article that Garrett Hilbert had passed away. So I'm like, no way this real this is real. And sure enough, it wasn't. It was just some really corny joke. So Garrett- who's Garrett Hilbert for those who don't know what you're talking about? So you know, so there's this group of guys who were there. There's this group of five guys on YouTube called Dude Perfect who are all roommates at Texas A and M, and and they each have nicknames. So there's Tyler Tony, the tall guy. No, 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 they're not Tyler. There's Cody Jones, the tall guy. Tyler Tony, the beard guy. Corey and Kobe Cotton, the twins. And Garrett Hilbert, the purple hoser. <laughs> Why is he the purple hoser? I don't know, because he has a purple hoser. I think, if I remember correctly, a hoser is a, I don't know. Is it like a, some, I, I believe a hoser is an article of clothing. Mm, I thought it was like a, just an insult in Canada. You hoser? I thought, you mean Minnesota? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Canada calls people hosers. No, it's, it's Minnesota. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you better be it's careful. Minnesota, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no difference between Minnesota and Canada anyway. So. No, are you kidding me? No, no, no. Okay, okay, now you're gonna now you're gonna force me to do some homework. <clears throat> and Minnesota's way over there, yeah. Hold Minna- on a second. Minnesota's up there, yeah. And Can- Minnesota, Canada's up there. Minnesota's over there, yeah. Okay, here, here's something that I'm gonna. I think I might actually be right here. All right, you may use that in your little Minnesota accent, but the term is actually Canadian, according to uh, the dictionary here, popularized by uh, characters of a Canadian TV show, SCTV, back in the early '80s. So it is a Canadian term uh, for uh, a foolish or uncultivated person, and it just bled down into Minnesota. Yeah. You know, <sighs> ice fishing and all that. <clears throat> okay. All right. Are we ready for the next segment? Yeah, yep. This week in sports history, you go first, partner. Okay. I found this one, and I was like, I have to use it because any time to – uh, talk about some sort of loss or failure by the Miami Hurricanes. I, I, I would like to do that. So, no, no, no. in hey, 1994, hey, watch, it, buddy boy. watch it, buddy boy. <clears throat> don't get, don't, don't. Okay, let's maybe maybe I'm just saying something nice about the the Huskies. So, in 1994, Washington ended Miami's NCAA football record home winning streak at 58. So they had 58 straight home. Uh, victories in the Orange Bowl you know in 1994. Say. This week in 1994, it, Washington ended that by beating the Hurricanes 38 to 20. Now, let me ask you this. So their streak was 58 home wins. Yeah. What do you What do you think is the longest home winning streak in college football history? 60 something. Who do you okay? You're gonna say sixty, but who do you think it is? I don't know. How about I just told you that streak has yet to be broken, so Miami Hurricanes still hold the longest home winning streak in college football history, uh, from 1985 to 1994 with 58 wins. Can you guess who's number two and how many? Wins? I don't know. Come on. I'm gonna say. Florida I know you State. don't know. I want you I'm, to guess. I'm, I'm gonna say Florida State. <clears throat> No, Florida State is tied for seventh on the list with 42. But right, right behind start. Miami at number two is Alabama. Alabama. 57. Now, now, we're going to get crazy here. The number three is 56 wins. Can you guess the team? And I need you to get, like, out of sort of, you know, Texas. who you think is really good Texas. right now. No, get out of who you think is really good uh, right now. Texas is actually the other number seven. You got to go way back. I'll give you this. Stop. Weber State. No, hold on. Weber State. Come on. Here's you got to go back to. Here's when the streak was from 1890. Harvard. 
There you go. Yes, Harvard is number three okay, with can, fifty six. Okay, <clears throat> but can I give a shout out to some, to a you to a fellow to a to a husky a fellow to a you please, Mr. Andy Bunker who works at who does the midday show with one Randy McMichael who is a fellow who is a Georgia Bulldog great who like on ninety two nine the game so shout out to you Andy and by the way how about those huskies? How about them? How about them? Uh, all right. So what do you got for me? This As week in my, sports right, history. This week, back in 1991, U.S. Senior Open Men's Golf. Oh, at, at U.S. At the U.S. Senior Open Men at the U.S. Men's Golf Senior Open in Oakland Hills, whatever CC means. Jack Nicholas Country Ma- Club. Oakland Hills Country Club. Jack Nicholas matches course record of 65 to beat Chi Chi Rodriguez by four strokes in an 18-hole Monday playoff. Okie dokie. Which actually ties in very well to our next guest on the show. Oh yeah, why don't you Coming tell us who that is? On the show is is Mister is so is I believe the father of one of mother my mother's dear friends from high school, right? Mister Ja no Mister Larry <laughs> Nelson. So tune in up. So but I do want to bring in my mother. Mother, did I bring in? That, did I did I get that right? Well, you didn't say what he is. He he was he he's a former professional golfer and mother did I get that right about the, the... yes we are high school college kids. I'm not kidding all right all right well this has been this has been another episode of the Fandom Fanatic Pep Rally with my broadcast partner Ryan Gurlecki. this is Parker Gurlecki saying game set match bye. <laughs>